it's Scrappy Kathy, and we're doing day six of 30 Days of Sketches, and the Scrap Timber prompt is Fussy Cutting. So I've got this cute little photo of Reese. I haven't fully distressed the mats behind it. I've got it matted in a scrap of um, kind of blue paper to match the thread on these. I'm going to use as a basis for my two clusters. They're basically two clusters in opposite corners. I'm going to use as the basis these um, this is fabric that, you know, I took my sewing machine in for service recently and they were um, testing the stitches after they had done the repairs. So these are the test stitch patterns. So I just thought I would use those as, um, as the background, the backdrop for my clusters. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna attach them, probably staples, but we'll see. And I have a bunch of um, fussy cut florals from Coco Vanilla, I believe that's Daydream. And I have some other fussy cut elements, a couple cameras, a couple tags, and some flowers from this paper, which is a uh, from Buenos Dias by um, uh, Obed Marshall. And I have a little title and a little bit of journaling. So um, I'm hoping that this goes together quickly because I'm not sure how much longer my voice is gonna hold out. So let's get started. Uh, there is in here some mixed media, some blotches, but I'm gonna keep this kind of a clean sort of look. I'm using the um, kind of checkered back uh, like a background paper, also from Buenos Dias by Obed Marshall. And I think that's kind of enough busyness and pattern. And then I'm going to kind of layer up the flowers and some of the other elements. Let me put some of those things separately over here. Let me group the flowers. I just kind of mushed them all together to see if they would work together. And uh, I, you know, I like mixing things up like that. I have these um, enamel dots, and I thought I'd use the yellow and the blue ones. The pink is not exactly the right color of pink. It is if I put it next to an Obed Marshall flower, um, but we'll see. I just kind of had that out on the table. So you know how I am about using things that are already on the table. So I'm gonna sit down and get this party started. I'm gonna pull out my brand new um, tiny attacher. I had a tiny attacher for uh, probably at least, at least 10 years and it, it kind of gave out. <laughs> I'm not, not quite sure what, what happened, but um, I ordered another one. And I, I guess as I feel it working right now, I realized that, it's, that mine had probably been going out, of, um, going out for a while. It had not really been stapling uh, cleanly or smoothly, and I'd, I'd have to... Uh, stop and redo about every third or fourth staple. And I think I know what the problem is, but um, there's there are instructions on there to load only one block of replacement staples at a time. Otherwise, it will jam. And I don't think I read those instructions 10 years ago. And I have, on occasion, loaded more than one block. And I, I can't remember if those were, you know, times that I did that, those were the times that it misbehaved. So I'm just gonna staple these on here with a couple staples that 
our uh, kind of place that I mean, well, surely it can't be out of staples. You've got to be kidding, okay? <laughs> it wasn't out. Why did it not come? And this is embarrassing and boring, I'm sure. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it aside, and I'll let that one be enough. I'm going to go ahead and put a little tape under here, and I'll go back and finish with staples where they will show. Um, after all this is, is over with. Okay, so I'm going to build this cluster down here first with a really big um, bunch of flowers. Oh, don't tell me my tape gun is going to misbehave too. I'm going to do a bunch of flowers there and kind of insert that guy right there. And I'll have uh, I thought I'd do a little, well, let me do, an, I'm going to do another cluster of flowers up on top. And for that, I want a couple tape elements. Oh, a couple layers of tape, just so that I can tuck other things underneath like flares and stuff like that. So let me do this right there. I want some of this to show so that it kind of emphasizes that it's a couple of layers. This guy is gonna get popped up on at least one layer, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. Uh, kind of like that. And I thought I would do this maybe underneath that, and then I'll cluster something else underneath it. And yeah, I, I didn't. Um, I'm, I didn't, and have no plans to cut a hole or put any twine or anything in there. Okay, now let me get the journaling kind of right there, and then maybe I can do one of these cameras here. Yeah, that'll work. And I'll put the title up at the top. This is not going to be a particularly sophisticated layout. Um, but then Reese is not a particularly sophisticated dog. So, yeah, I think it's, it, it all works out. <laughs> she What this is about is how different she looks after she's been groomed and trimmed and that she even kind of has a little bit of a different personality. She seems a little, I don't know, maybe a little more timid, a little something. Let me get some of the Obed Marshall flowers here. <coughs> Excuse me. Gonna layer and this might look a little like I've got a bit of a split personality going on here. And that's perfectly okay because of the storyline. I've got this cute little white flower that could maybe stick out of there. 
Okay, so I've got the Obed Marshall flowers over on one side. I hadn't planned to do that, but it actually works out nicely because I don't want the big cluster over here. I'm perfectly happy having it off to one side <clears throat> there. And that gives me, okay. So you can just barely see that fabric and you really can't see any of the stitching on it, but you can see the thread. So there's just a little bit of texture there. <clears throat> okay, and as you can hear, my voice is going. Now here, up here, I had thought I would use a cluster that had a straight edge. So I'll do that and kind of do it like think that'll work and then a little tag coming down here you'll probably see more of the thread more of the stitching now I'm gonna do this little tag maybe uh, cut a bit with some behind it okay I think I need some foam towards the front to hold it down Okay, and then I'm gonna put the title here, and then I'll see how many and which flowers to use. I want another camera and maybe this little bow tie from the uh, Obed Marshall Fussy Cuts, and I may do something like this. Maybe right there, yeah. Okay. This one's almost done because I typed up the journaling and all I'm gonna do is maybe look for a, a flare or two. Okay, there. I put the Reese 2.0 and maybe this little camera coming out right there maybe I don't need that camera maybe that camera would have been a better but it has the same colorful grid that's on this one so maybe what I'll do is I'll cut it in half now I can use the other half of it later on a different layout and I'll kind of tuck that under there so that the title kind of overlaps onto it. Now I've got another Obed Marshall flower here that could maybe tuck under there and then I think we're done guys. I think we're done. Well, let me get the There. Okay. Uh, do I need this? This is kind of cute, and it could go right down there. I like it. It's Obed's little signature bow tie, and it and he are just so freaking cute. Okay, so I think we're done. I think we've, um, we've met the basic uh, requirements. Let me get some flare that works. Um, I'm looking in, 
Okay. There are two of these white wood layers that I thought would go. They, they kind of, um, the colors are a little bit soft. And like I said, I kind of didn't want to um, really do a lot to detract from this pretty wood. So maybe one down here, right there. And I could actually, if I went looking for some word phrases, I have some puppy dog paws that are in colors that would work. But I kind of want to use something that's maybe a little less uh, thematic or a little bit less obvious. And these white wood flares absolutely go with everything. And there's not a page that they wouldn't enhance. So I'll do that there. And let me look for some word phrases or something. There's um, love it. It's kind of long. Would it work here? It's a little bit too long. So I've got happy. right here and I'm going to put a little bit of foam behind it. These colors in the, um, this is a um, uh, One Canoe Two uh, sticker book and the colors are really nice and muted and go well with the collection we've got here. So I can do that there. And then there's one that says, wow, right here. And it's in that kind of gold color. And I can put it All right, let me get this up in frame. I have, uh, I know that I have been getting the, doing my work out of frame. Uh, that's like an old habit that I've apparently gotten back into. And part of it is that I'm kind of moving things around um, lately. And part of it is I'm just not as attentive as I had gotten to be. So I apologize. And I'm hoping that when I am operating at 100% that <laughs> maybe, maybe that comes back. Okay, so I'm happy. I'm gonna add a couple enamel dots. I'm gonna go with this teal color right here and a yellow and maybe a tiny pink so that the, okay, and here, I'll put them here. Tiny pink, medium yellow, tiny blue. And I think we're done. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope most of that was in frame. I had it down here a lot, I think, maybe. Um, and I, if so, I apologize. And <laughs> thank you uh, for those of you who let me know that, um, that that's happening. I really appreciate it when you do that. 
um, and I, I need to pay more attention to correcting that. But here's, you know, just some some fussy cuts that that I did from some uh, stuff. And the base piece here doesn't really show too much, but I kind of like that it's under there. Um, and it, it means I didn't, there's something I didn't have to throw in the trash. I didn't have to clog any, um, any landfills. So thank you for watching and thanks for checking out my baby girl Reese. <laughs> Bye.